Example 2.7. The highway department expects the cost of maintenance for a piece of heavy construction equipment to be $5,000 in year one, to be $5,500 in year two, and to increase annually by $500 through year 10. At an interest rate of 10% per year, determine the present worth of 10 years of maintenance costs. Okay, so first of all here, we know that in year one, okay, you're going to have $5,000. So if you know that you're starting in year one and then you have annual amounts, you will start to relate this uh, to an A. But the A has to be uniform. So remember, it's uniform series. So that means that it has to be exactly the same amount every year. In this case, our keyword will be an annual increase. Whenever you see this, that means that we are talking about a gradient. So if your starting amount sounds like an A, but then you see that it increases, then it's going to be what we call a gradient. So let's go and check out our notes for the gradients. If it increases or also decreases by the same amount, that means that it's an arithmetic gradient. Okay, here's an example. So if uh, period one you have 800, then you see a pattern of increase by the same amount, your gradient will be the increasing amount only. Okay, we have also a factor formula for that. Notice that I'm emphasizing here that it's for the gradient only. I'll explain in a minute. And the formula was uh, more complex than the formulas for the other factors. But thankfully, we also have the tabulated factor version. Okay, so it's as easy as going into the table and looking for uh, the, the number. Okay, so this is what the gradient will look like in terms of a diagram. Your starting amount, we will call that the base amount or what we usually have as an A. And notice that every year we can have that same amount fitting into our gradient. So we have the base and then in year two it's, it's where you actually start noticing the increase. So from the base you will find a uniform increase up to year N. We need to take these two into consideration. So whenever you are uh, trying to find, in this case, the present worth okay, of a gradient diagram, you have to have these two parts. First of all, you have to have the A, which is the base amount, or your uniform series. And since we're converting to P, you need to use the find P given A factor for the base. And you need to add the gradient. So you're also going to convert the gradient to present in this case. Okay, so that's why in this formula right here, it says that it's for the gradient only, okay, because this formula will only work for the gradient part. But you also need to remember to add the base. Okay. So here it is. Again, I'm emphasizing on the gradient only. And as I mentioned, the gradient will start in year two, because you won't notice the increase until year two. If you go to your tables, you're going to see that year one for the gradients, it's going to be empty. So it's going to be blank. There's no numbers here because we do not have a gradient in year one. Okay. The starting one will be in year two, as I mentioned, because in year one, you will only have your base amount. So now let's go to the problem. So then we notice that, yes, the starting amount, those five, uh, $5,000, are going to be your A. So, oh, sorry. Okay, so you have an A, a base amount or starting amount of 5,000. Whenever you see that increase, okay, then that's going to be your gradient. So we're going to name it G, and it increases by 500. There's no need to take note of the second amount. Okay, it's just there for you to realize that there's a pattern. Sometimes they'll even list like year three would be 6,000, etc. Okay, but here to cut it short, they just said, okay, after this, it continues to increase by the same amount. 
uh, it increases through year 10. Okay, so then it's going to be n equals to 10 years. And it says that the interest rate will be 10% per year. And we are trying to determine the present worth of these 10 years. So we are looking for P right here. Okay, so just a reminder that we have uh, A and G. So our formula will be looking like this. We're looking for P. So we need to find the equivalent present worth of the base and we need to add the present worth of the gradient and in other words if you want to find the present worth of the base we're going to be using find P given A factor and the present worth of the gradient, it's going to be find P given the gradient. Now, if we go ahead and draw our diagram, so we said it's going to be for 10 years, but I'm probably not going to fit them all here. So I'm just going to keep it, like short, keep it short. So in this case, I'm going to have year 1, 2, 3, Oh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry. And I'm just going to put that it goes on. So it's here, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so we know that the present is going to be in year 0. Okay, so I'm going to put the, the present worth going up because uh, I'll explain how the gradient works right now. So I'm going to put the present here. And it says that the base amount, remember it's a cost of maintenance, so it's going to be going down. Okay, so A, I'm going to put it in year one. Okay, so you have your A there. Then it says that, um, well, I'm just going to note here that this is 5,000 for your reference. In year two, it's supposed to be 5,500. as mentioned in the problem. But then it says that it keeps on increasing. So in year three, we're going to have 6,000. And in year four, it's going to be 6,500. And then again, it continues to increase up to year 10. So what this means, oh, and let me list the interest rate here, 10% per year. Okay, so well, I put the P going up because we are looking for the equivalent amount. So that means that it's going to be like to balance it out, I'm just put it going the other way around. Okay, so in this case, as mentioned in the notes, this is your base, meaning that you will have an arrow fitting here, here, and here, and all of this right here. It's going to be your base. And then this right here, it's going to be the gradient. And we need to convert these two to present. Okay. Now, uh, I want to point out something about this diagram. Yes, the arrows are going down, all of them. But the gradient, it's still increasing because it goes from uh, a short arrow and it's gradually becoming longer. Okay, so that means that you have an increasing gradient. Just on a side note right here, if you were to have a decreasing gradient, it would look something like this. Okay, so if you were to have a decreasing gradient that's not part of the problem, uh, it would look something like this. So you would have the longer arrow first and then they would start decreasing. But then again, it doesn't matter if it goes down or if it goes up. If you start with 
the longer arrow, that means it's a decreasing uh, gradient. But in our case, it's increasing, and it would go. Um, it'll be the same if the arrows would be positive. You start with a short arrow, and then it starts getting longer. Okay, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna not erase this because it's not part of our problem. Okay, so now that we have this, now let's continue with the solution. So if we put this formula together here at the bottom, it would be, well, P will be equal to uh, 5,000 because it's our base. And then we need to convert the base to uh, present. So then again, it's going to be find P given A at 10% and it's going to be for 10 years okay because we have uh, the A will take place in all of the 10 years plus we need the gradient part so yeah it's going to be the 500 it's going to be find P given G at 10% but even though the gradient starts in year two, we also need to take into consideration the year where the base started. So the gradient will be also for 10 years. Okay, so just a uh, note here uh, saying that this right here is the base. And this part right here is the gradient. So remember, don't just uh, convert the gradient because then your problem will be incomplete. Okay, and then it's just a matter of plugging in our values. So we have 5,000. If we go to the, the tables, we're going to use the 10% table. Okay, so here it is, 10%. And then we're going to look for the find P given A over here for 10 years. So this is where they meet. It's going to be 6.1446. And then the other uh, factor that we need would be find P given G also for the 10% table and also for 10 years. So this would be our factor. Uh, amount 22.8913 so we're going to plug those two in our problem so this is the first one 6.1446 plus 500 uh, 22.8913 okay. and if you do the math you will end up with 42 1169 okay so basically what's going on here is that you are it's as if you were individually moving each and one of these to year zero okay but it would take us a very long time to do that one by one so this is a faster solution now I want to add something to this example right here what if you were instead of trying to find P in year zero you are looking to distribute everything uniformly okay so I'm just gonna add this is not part of the problem but I'm gonna add uh, an example here to this one kind of like a second part uh, now we want to find the annual worth okay so basically we are trying to find a but for the whole thing so that means that if we have our diagram that looks like this I'm gonna recreate it uh, down here so if we have this diagram because we know that we already have an A but in this case what we have is right now it looks like this okay 
and we want to make it look like this okay so basically we are yes we have an a already but all of this that's um, extra that gradient part we want to distribute it uniformly between all of the years okay so how do you do that okay so we mentioned um, here in the notes that there's also a factor for the annual equivalent also for the gradient only so we want to convert the gradient part the one I just uh, highlighted in the problem in the diagram we want to convert the gradient part to A Okay. then again this formula right here or this factor will only be useful for the gradient and let me point it out again so it will only work for this part right here what do you do in this case because you also need to take into consideration the base if that's the case then your formula will look like this a will and you also need both uh, parts okay a would be the base amount or we can say if you wanna relate it to this one in this case you were looking for p so it was the present worth of the base but in this case it's the annual worth of the base Okay, what do you do with that one? Well, the base amount is already an A. Okay, so you do not need to calculate any annual worth. It is already an A. So you're just going to plug in the number as is. Okay, and then here we do need the conversion factor because we want to find the annual worth of the gradient part. So there we would need to use find a given g. Okay. So if we plug in our values here, we said that the base amount is 5,000. So then again, you do not need any factors here because it's already in A. So you just put the 5,000 like that. And here for the gradient, we said it's 500 but we do need the find a given g okay, find a given g at 10 percent for 10 years okay, so be 5,000 plus 500 if we go to the table now we're going to be using the column for find a given g so it'd be this one right here again at 10 percent for 10 years and it would be 3.7255. Where's my. Oh, sorry. There it is. So it's going to be 3.7255. Okay, and this will give us a total A of 6,862.5. Since it's an A, this is going to be per year.